Hey folks, Dr. C here, and I am so excited. This is the first time I've ever done an unboxing video. It feels very hip. Um, but I'm going to be going over the new product launch from Resound. They've launched a new product called the Resound One that has some really interesting and very techy new um, technology that should be fantastic for helping with hearing and understanding speech and noise and localizing. Um, sounds. So I'm really excited to explore what it can do and what we can do with it. Um, the new devices um, come in both the traditional batteries and rechargeable um, and have a couple of different charger options. So that's sort of fun. I haven't opened this yet, so I'm sharing the experience with you. Um, I am planning to do premium chargers for all of my patients. Um, they have an option of a charger that it just charges. It doesn't hold backup backup charges and uh, while that's fine for an extra or a spare, I want folks to have the um, backup charger um, charges available in their charger that holds three charges so that when the power's out, that's hurricane season now that we're doing this launch, um, that you're not off the air in the time of an emergency. And also just if you want to travel and not have to think about it, you can throw this in your bag and you're good to go for several days. Um, I had one patient with the previous generation with one of these chargers and she um, made it five days camping and um, in the middle of the sixth day they pulled into a rest stop and plugged everything in and she was off the air for about a half hour on the sixth day. Um, so they really, you can get a lot out of these chargers and these devices have a tremendous battery life. It looks like this entire section is the um, charger and plug. Um, again, I haven't done this yet. This is all new for me. It looks like it is the um, traditional micro USB port um, again as well. Um, so that's something that's pretty um, easy to come across and uh, replace as needed. Plugs from here into the wall, the lights on the back will show you um, how many reserve chargers are available in the lithium ion battery in the charger. And then the devices settle into the charger itself. Now what's really handy, what I've found to be super helpful with this line of rechargeables is that the when the charger is facing you, the right hearing aid comes out of your right ear and goes into the right well. And the left hearing aid comes out of the left ear and goes into the left well. And unless you're like taking them out at the barber shop or out and about, um, you rarely have to figure out which one's right and left. It's just already set up to make life easier. Um, so that's fun. And I feel like this is a new drawer system, um, which is kind of nice, but it's all paper-based packaging. It's much, uh, it's very recyclable, which is um, something we try and make sure we do at our office. And it looks like, ooh, there's the little devices. Um, they come bubble wrapped, and this is the champagne color. It should be, it's a very subtle color. It's a really pretty sleek looking design, um, sort of a, a modern or postmodern look. Um, let's put these babies together. So here's that behind the ear component and they can settle into the charger like this. And then I have some of, it's a full new line of receivers, domes, components. Everything was completely reworked for these devices. Um, because they have a lot more data exchange available in them. Um, we always gripe about when they swap out things, um, change parts, but we'll, we'll survive. Um, <laughs> these new receivers are called a Marie receiver because it's no longer just the speaker. Now the component that sits in the ear is the microphone and the receiver in the ear. So these devices actually function with three microphones per hearing aid, which is absolutely super cool. Our receivers will pop together like this. Oh, this was something we were a little concerned about how that was gonna work, but it looks pretty doable and serial number and product information we have on a little card back here. And then there's a red marking here that shows us red for right, R&R, &R, and red marking on the earpiece as well. 
And for these, we'll put domes appropriate to your hearing loss attached to that earpiece. On top of the device, the device is gonna sit up on the ear like this. On top of the ear sits a front microphone and a rear microphone. And those paired microphones kick in when there's any sort of competing noise. Lots of people talking at once, maybe the air conditioning or traffic if you're eating outside, um, since that's one of the best ways to enjoy a restaurant these days. The back, the microphones work together to pick out what you're most likely to want to listen to. There's a little light right there in the middle that will be used to notify you when it plugs in that it's active or when it's turning on and off. The button is much more raised and has a more distinct click than last time. It's a, easier to find tactily um, and I think that would be very functional. The device itself feels a little bit lighter than the previous generation. Um, really, it's very lightweight thinking about the amount of power that's in a lithium ion battery in this thing. And then down this wire, the wire that runs along the front of the ear, there sits a small microphone as well as a speaker. So there's a receiver and a microphone sitting in the ear. Now, one of my concerns with this is how much earwax and dead skin and junk is gonna get into that microphone. Um, there is a, a microphone cover that's replaceable, just like the wax guard that goes on the end of the receiver. And because this is brand new, I don't know how often we'll need to replace those or have our patients replace those. That's something we'll have to keep an eye on and, and continue with these in-house studies. We'll keep an eye on that and let you know. Um, but it's a very intriguing idea. By having both microphones on top of the ear to help manage competing noise and the microphone in the ear to take advantage of your unique configuration of the shape of your ear, for localizing and organizing sound. Um, they're really, they're, at least in theory, these should have a phenomenal sound quality and a lot of ability to support your processing and support your brain handling sound the way it's accustomed to. Um, the devices also come with, oh, there's a couple more receivers. Um, I'm not gonna put everything together, but um, more of the components and they include the cleaning tools or what we call the first aid kit. Um, I'll do the color markers in a little bit, but we'll add some little dots to show you where right from left. There's a quick guide that's specific to these devices. And then of course, the, the big user guide and the connectivity guide. These devices are MFI made to work with iPhones and then also compatible with most of the newer Android lines. So they're able to do a tremendous amount through that technology using the Bluetooth data connection. Everything from remote programming. You can come see me once in the office, we can get you kicked off, and then from the, we can do so many adjustments, feedback management, changes to sound, and fine tuning remotely. Um, we're finding these days with COVID, we're doing a lot more of that, and we've gotten very comfortable and very efficient with it. Um, we can do um, counseling and, and sort of training on how to clean and manage devices or talk you through troubleshooting through video calls, um, which we have a HIPAA compliant video portal available now through our office management system. So um, I'm very excited to get my hands on these and wear them around myself for the weekend um, and get them on some patients and get some feedback and see how you guys feel about the sound. And I hope that these are a way that we can help people hear um, even better than we've, we've been able to before. Um, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll keep you posted on our results with the Resound One.